welcome to Shruti Out Loud, a podcast where I invite guests from different walks of life to share their stories of following their passion, success, and happiness, which in turn motivates our listeners to follow their heart. Hi, and welcome back to Shruti Out Loud podcast. And we are back with another episode, another um, story, another motivation, and another piece of information, I would say. And I'm quite excited for this episode, considering, you know, we are in the last month of this year and <laughs> all of us has exp- have experienced so many things. We have taken already so many lessons in our lives and we are really looking forward to the next year, 2023, with new goals, new motivations. Um, and I would say the guest that we have today is someone who sort of, you know, is a part of the goal that everybody kind of, you know, brings with them <laughs> whenever they are entering a new year. Um, so just to sort of, you know, cut it short, um, uh, physical fitness is one thing that all of us are really keen on these days. And I wouldn't really, um, use the word keen. It's more like, you know, that is how it should be because the kind of lifestyle we are all living these days, it is quite important for us to be physically active, to take care of ourselves. So let's start talking about the episode. So we, Today, we are going to sit down with Deepti Sharma, who is the director of Multifit. And we will be discussing challenges and opportunities of running a successful fitness business. Deepti is going to share insights on everything from building a strong team and creating a positive culture to staying on top of industry trends and adapting to the changing landscape of the industry. Um, So whether you are a fitness professional or just looking to get in shape, this episode has something for everyone. So without further ado, let's bring her on board and take this conversation ahead. Hi, Deepti. Hi, Shruti. Thank you for having me here. We are really looking forward to this episode with you. Thank you. Me also. So Deepti, uh, the kind of conversations we are going to have here are, uh, I, I, I would say, you know, it's something that everybody is going to take away from what we are going to discuss today. So to start off the conversation, to start off with the questions, let's start with the post-pandemic era and let's compare it with how it was before the pandemic and now how it is in this current uh, day that we are talking. So Shruti, um, you know, the uh, pandemic taught all of us a lot of things. The first thing uh, the pandemic taught us uh, is, um, you know, that we can do a lot of things by ourselves. So similar was uh, the story about fitness also. Uh, Pre-pandemic, I mean, it's a very weird uh, term to call it because we had never ever imagined that there would be a term where, uh, you know, we, our generation uh, generation would have to face. So pre-pandemic, I mean, gyms were, um, they are, but they were a necessity. They were places where, um, you know, one would go to build a community, where one would go look forward to making uh, new friends, meeting new people. Uh, and yeah, there, somewhere they were, uh, you know, the people were um, relying a lot on uh, on a gym. Uh, in the pandemic, uh, for the first few weeks or for the first few months, uh, everyone took it pretty easy. Uh, they went for, you know, little jogs, uh, little walks, doing steps in their buildings and all of that. Then they realized that, uh, you know, this is, this is the, uh, the pandemic is here to stay and we don't know how long it's going to happen. So, um, you know, I know a few of uh, sport uh, shops and complexes in my vicinity and I, I am in touch with them. So the amount of sale that fitness equipment had during the pandemic is not funny because everybody, you know, bought these equipment, started working out at home. A lot of online uh, classes started at home, uh, online uh, teaching, online, uh, you know, training started. So, um, yeah, that, I mean, one wouldn't imagine that, you know, we are doing exercises at home and that too online because, um, you know, but there was no choice. 
now post the pandemic so so everybody was very very independent they were they were used to uh, you know doing that in the comfort of their house and uh, they had no one you know okay this i i need the space or i need the time they would tie up with their trainers or there were so many online um, apps that came in between so you know people started registering on that and uh, they were very happy um when post pandemic when we started uh, with the gyms people were very very hesitant uh, to come to the gyms because uh, again you know it's it's a public place there are various varieties of people who are coming in the gym so the initial few months uh, were a little uneasy because uh, it used to be there used to be nobody on the gym uh, in the gyms uh, there were more people running cycling outside than you know they were uh, in the gyms however um, now like since about uh, maybe you know 8 10 months uh, people have realized i think uh, they've got bored of sitting at home uh, they've got because office is from home gym is from home everything is at home right so from the last few months i would say like 8 uh, 10 months uh, people's mindsets have changed they want to go out they miss the community that they were you know creating or having at the gyms missing out on uh, you know meeting new people so the gyms are uh, you know again uh, starting to feel happy now because you see new faces you know they want to come and work out and uh, you know what always surprised me um, yeah i'm i would be wrong to say if my trainers or if we did not give online training of course we did give them online training but what surprises me there are so many you know uh, workout is uh, such that till you don't have a trainer correcting your form telling you what to do and that person is there every moment um, it's very difficult to do it online i mean it's okay you are there you are you are there to push but um the fun of having a physical class a physical training is a uh, way beyond superior than you know having it online and having it do, having it you know um, done through the screens of your laptop so um people have realized that no you know if you have to um go to the next step uh, i think in the pandemic what they did was they maintained themselves by their workouts if they have to go to the next steps i think coming to a gym and working out physically with a trainer uh, makes a lot of sense so uh, yeah the so as i said you know um, it's looking good uh, the people are coming and um, as you said you know how is december treating you so a lot of people want to wear nice clothes for the new year parties for christmas so um, yeah uh, we do have a lot of them uh, in the gyms uh, back and you know it feels so good to welcome all you know all our old clients all old members who had taken a sabbatical for some time but they are back at uh, the the iron again uh, in the gym absolutely deeply so here i would completely agree with you that uh, during pandemic people sort of you know they just found a way to make do with whatever they had but as you said that yes gyms they give you the community they give you the sort of you know the support system as well because once you are there and sort of you know all everybody there is working on some goal or the other so the combined energy it really keeps you motivated and it keeps you going giving you more goals to sort of you know go ahead with right so uh, one of the beautiful things that i personally observe uh, when i go to the gym or working out somewhere or the other is that finally age is not really a barrier when it comes to going to the gyms like earlier it was more about you know youngsters going there to get the pumps or <laughs> however whatever the terms uh, the the youth is uh, sort of you know explaining or um, going ahead with but yes uh, i would ask you if you could encourage our listeners to sort of you know understand the gym industry that it is not just for youngsters but for everyone for even people above 50 so uh, shruti you know when as you said when you when you say gym um, the the first age group that comes to your mind is possibly uh, for the boys 18 year old you know that's when they finish their 12th standards uh, that okay we have to go to college uh, the next year so we have to 
look good get good for the boys get good biceps and you know uh, look nice and for the girls obviously uh, lose weight and look good and everything so it's like from an 18 year old to about like a 30 year old you know that is that is basically 30 or even maybe 35 but that's the basic concept of a gym so um but i don't think so you know uh, the, there are so many, I'm not against any doctor or I'm not against anyone, uh, you know, who's giving advices. So I myself have got advice that why are you going to the gym? Why don't you just go for a walk? You know, I am not against going for a run or going for a walk or, you know, playing a sport. Uh, I think one should do that. But what a gym does is, you know, when you are doing little bit of strength training, today we read a whole lot of articles as to how strength training uh, is uh, good, especially for women after 40. Uh, you know, it helps them in their bone densities. It helps them, you know, overcome arthritis, osteoporosis. So as the researchers are going on and they come up with this, um, and it is it is very very natural. I mean, uh, why why only for a woman over forty? Even for a man, um, it is basically how your body composition is. It's basically how it structures your body. And uh, today, science says that uh, every individual, apart from the cardiovascular uh, exercises that they do, they have to do a little bit of strength training uh, to keep their bones intact. And, you know, and uh, strength training has its own benefits. Of course, fat loss is there, but it also corrects your postures. It, I think it just gives a very uh, different outlook. Uh, and uh, uh, it gives your body that uh, strength. It gives your body that posture that, you know, like that so many of us, uh, after a certain age, we tend to slouch. Oh, why, why only us, even children, you know, they... Uh, they have peers who are shorter to them or they just get into that mode of, you know, just bending and uh, they have such bad postures. So uh, I think um, the gym, uh, the first thing that any good trainer will tell you at the gym is, uh, you know, strength, uh, you know, straighten your posture because that's what is absolutely important. Apart from that, uh, you know, in our gyms also. So um, I don't know how much you know about uh, multi-fit, Shruti, but uh, multi-fit is basically a functional training and strength training uh, gym. So initially, we did have a lot of apprehensions from little older uh, members that, oh, oh y'all don't have a treadmill. Y'all don't have the traditional uh, cycle or something. Then how or the elliptical? How are you going to make us do cardio? So we we told them so many times that cardio is not only a treadmill. There are ways and means of doing uh, the cardio. Then would come that how can we do a uh, functional training? Functional training is something that you do in your everyday uh, life. You know what you do at home. You must be bending down uh, to you know to pull out a drawer and maybe remove your books or maybe remove that some dabbas for your kitchen or something. So that you know you must be uh, when you're drying your clothes or when you're folding your bed sheets or that those are all the functional things that you do. We just name them um, in form of exercises, but this is, you know, what you need and what you do in your day-to-day -day life. Um, if you ask me, my grandmother lived till the age of 93. Uh, she was fit and fine, hale and hearty. She did everything on her own. Uh, she would sit on her, uh, you know, feet down and uh, she would even sweep uh, the floor if she wanted to. If she wanted to clean some sabji, she would sit like that. Today, youngsters cannot sit like that. You know, they find it so difficult to sit on their feet because they, they say we'll fall because they don't have that balance. So what are, uh, you know, the older, the elders in our house, what they did was all functional workouts. So when, when little elderly people come to me and they say that, you know, this your gym is very difficult. How can we do all this? So I think it is just the lifestyle has become so different that they have forgotten to do their basics things at home you know i think the pandemic taught us that that we need to sit on our legs and do jadu pocha all of that it, it taught us all of that so uh, coming back to your question uh, why uh, why 50 year olds uh, we have a few 
uh, senior citizens who come to us we uh, train them in that way we have uh, a few of our gyms have like a rehab center where we help them uh, train in their capacity in how much ever they can do and uh, you know some of them have decreased their dosage of insulin or their bp medicines and um, because they are doing the kind of workout that they have to do you know so it is it is just a myth or it is just a you know, thing that okay gym no gym is not for me after a certain age is what is you know that you're just supposed to walk or you know you go for a brisk walk and that is enough for us we are too old for a gym no 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 it's not like that uh, there is no age for you know uh, for for anyone uh, to go to the gym yeah little we do uh, discourage uh, sometimes little children coming to the gym it's only for the uh, precaution people are throwing the weights there are weights around it just that but otherwise age is no bar for uh, going to the gym and for our listeners i would say that you know enroll at your nearest gym and uh, you know you see the benefits you see the health benefits you see you'll be such a happy person um, you know when you get into that community when you get into that atmosphere where so many people are working out together uh, it inspires it motivates you also absolutely deepthi so here i would completely agree with you on the part that age is not really uh, a criteria for gym and also here i would like to sort of you know share my personal uh, life experience so i am on uh, the leaner side i've always been on the leaner side and i have been going to gyms i think for past 7 uh, 8 years or so but till date it's so funny that even till date people come up and tell me oh why do you need to go to a gym and i tell them you know <laughs> let it be i know why i go there i know what it gives me and yes i do have so i am 35 years old so i do have friends who uh, are sort of you know um, uh, they have kids and all of that and they are like oh yeah yeah we are absolutely okay with just just going for a walk for 2 hours and i always try and tell them that you know you should go to a gym and at least experience it but yes people have that particular mindset that this is what gym is about so i'm so glad that multifit is uh, sort of you know breaking those notions breaking those barriers and i really hope that our listeners they do get inspired after this episode and enroll themselves and just you know go and experience that's all i would also like to contribute to this discussion that we are having true i I'm, i'm absolutely you know uh, like what you said a lot of people say are hey, you are thin why do you need to go to the gym or so going to the gym is not only to put on weight or to lose weight uh, i think it is basically uh, for both your physical and uh, your mental well being you know uh, when you exercise you release uh, uh, good hormones and happy hormones and it just makes you feel uh, so good you sleep better you eat better so uh, yeah i mean it's a good thing absolutely so deepthi that brings me to the next question so uh, as we can see that you know yes people are finally getting into all of this so introducing a celebrity as an icon can boost the confidence in all age groups and also sort of you know it helps with the growth of the brand as well so what is your take on this approach what would you say about this so um uh, you know should be coming back i would like to answer this question uh, you know continuing uh, your last question you said a gym what is the age of uh, of you know of you going to the gym so uh, you know multifit has um, been associated with uh, uh, sunil shetty the actor and businessman so um, we met him some time ago and uh, you know he was very interested to partner with multifit so uh, yeah he is of course um, you know he's one of the partners um, in multifit and uh, he is such a well known star so obviously he uh, becomes the face of multifit so coming back uh, he is 62 years old and if you see that man he is so super fit i mean i don't think there will be a 30 35 year old who is as fit as him i mean you know everybody i think aspires i mean uh, you know that if if i am at that age and if i am as fit as him oh my goodness i mean i think that answers you know all the questions that uh, he and it was not that he was uh, 
not fit when you know in his younger days he was but at the same time coming at this age and uh, looking like that and have without losing the grace on your face and having that lean body with all the muscles intact and everything i think um, you know he's a big inspiration for the youngsters that uh, you know hey look at this person i mean you know he's he's that old and he's so fit and for uh, older people you know who are who after 40 45 there are a lot of them who say ki you know abhi ho gaya the life i mean you know we've done everything the you know um, the kids are settled we are settled and everything it's okay now what is there to be done no why not i mean look at this man he does not need to do anything he was as it is fit so you know age as such is no no uh, thing to get fit and um, you know coming back uh, to so so that is like you know uh, good this question came along with your uh, previous uh, question Now, yeah so you know no there is no age to get fit you can you can have a six packs even if you are 50 uh, if if you work towards it and if you aim for it so yeah uh, having mr sunil shetty on board is definitely uh, you know a very exciting he comes in with a lot of experience he comes in with a lot of um, enthusiasm he really inspire and since he believes in fitness and since he himself is so fit so um, he knows where to take the brand he knows what is good for the company and you know what all tie ups we should do and where we should invest and and how uh, do we take fitness uh, industry to the next level so uh, yeah it is indeed a pleasure to have him and there's lots that we learn uh, and uh, you know when when he's meeting us and when he talks to us so there's lots lots to learn from him so yeah it's it's indeed a pleasure to be with him absolutely i think roping in a celebrity who actually sort of you know uh, talk the walk that kind of a thing so uh, mr sunil shetty is like one of those names that you know you can associate him with fitness like you think about him you think of his name and that's what really comes to your head because he is really you know walking the talk absolutely okay um so deepthi could you tell us about the various options that multifit offers for people who are keen on finding the right balance in their lives options uh, as in uh, what sort of workout you should do or uh, what is uh, what is the, what what exactly do you want me to say so the kind of things that people sort of you know can experience or learn or sort of work on their uh, fitness through so shruti i think uh, for anybody uh, who wants to be fit the first um, aspect is do you really want it you know do you really do you really want to be fit um as i when you say fit when you want to be fit it is a uh, fitness of both of body and of mind um when you work out um, you get fit body wise automatically because you know you are taking care of it but it it also works a lot with your mind i think that one hour or 45 minutes that you give for yourself in the gym or for fitness i think that is somewhere your medica- meditation and that is i think something that each and every one of us deserves to you know to get um i think uh, in in any sort of fitness if you want to get into like like as i said you should you should want to get fit um then i would say the next uh, step is uh, don't have very big goals that oh okay ab bhi ek saal mein six packs no don't don't talk about ek saal talk about one month say in one month i want to learn so much i want to achieve this so take baby steps because when you when you when you know oh i have to travel so much um in that that journey you feel that oh i have lots to do lots to do but if you have small small goals that okay today i have started i have this many days or this many week, weeks to you know achieve this so work towards that and you know i think uh, that's the way that one one should do it also i there are a lot of youngsters shruti who overdo fitness i mean you know they 
they get so obsessed with it that they don't eat because they want to remain thin they don't eat they don't take care of uh, you know themselves so i think that is another thing that uh, you know in your journey of fitness that one should do is um, take care of your nutrition don't go on these crash diets don't go on uh, you know not eating skipping your meals uh, i think that's the biggest hindrance uh, to uh, you know uh, not getting fit a lot of us have that belief that if i eat less uh, you know i'm going to lose weight it's not like that it's how much and the quan- the quality and the quantity both matters so you know that is there uh, what else do i tell you i can go on and on so this so but yeah and so is uh, you know uh, keeping uh, sleep in uh, place um Uh, sleep is equally required uh, for you know uh, to to be able to perform uh, the next day giving your body that necessary uh, rest uh, so i think yeah this is uh, uh, in a gist uh, what i would say um, according to me shruti uh, those who are regulars in working out uh, if you ask me if my opinion for me uh, working out is like meditation that one hour in the morning is completely mine even though i have a trainer there is so much music in the gym it's all loud there is a lot of hustle bustle but that one hour uh, gives me enough uh, energy to you know uh, perform till uh, late you know i mean then you know that you are, you have that energy that lethargy is not set in so uh, you know i think even for youngsters you know we see these youngsters um, you know with diabetic conditions with thyroid conditions just uh, you know instead of investing in a um, in in some playstation or something invest in good pair of shoes and start running start the start a gym get involved in a sport uh, do something move just just move your body you know uh, there are a lot of things lot of options available uh, in the market do something do something yeah absolutely diti i totally agree with you here that you know that is a main thing that start moving and then yeah just gradually just you know keep following it <laughs> that's how it should be uh okay so diti lastly here um i would like to talk about uh, this thing where in multi fit absorbs uh, athletes and sports professionals and gives them the opportunity to find stability in their lives while still staying connected to their passion so what encouraged multifit to go ahead with this idea um so shruti uh, you know um, to in today in india a lot of sportsmen um, they do not have the facility to uh, you know barring a few sports uh, they do not have the facility where they can work on themselves where they can work on their uh, their fitness levels on their bodies on their nutrition so we met a couple of them and they we realized that you know um, we as a fitness brand should support them so i do have um, in my uh, in in our organization i do have golfers i do have uh, cricket players i have basketball players i have boxers i have um, athletes uh, from you know um, then i do have someone for taekwondo then uh, kabaddi so we have a lot of these athletes where they uh, they get their uh, rehab also you know in house uh, we have doctors for them plus uh, when they are off season when they are not practicing they work with us so uh, you know we train them in in that way also so uh, there is some one 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 of our athletes he is a basketball player there is some basketball league so um, you know we we sent he's gone there so he said you know ma'am i'm so happy that you know with whatever uh, experience i've got in multifit and i'm i'm helping my other fellow friends so it feels so good um last month one of our two of our boys went for the uh, national level calisthenics competition so i do have a bunch of these athletes and in in return they are they are training with us they are working also with us so they are earning money and they are getting um, knowledge 
and uh, you know why not encourage these youngsters to perform i mean it is their passion you know why not give them that uh, that stage where you know that okay follow your passion follow your dreams we are there to support you in whatever way we can so uh, it's amazing to see them you know grow it's amazing to see them when they um, come out in the open and uh, you know when they talk about uh, from where they come so it gives it gives me immense pleasure to see my boys and girls when they go up and you know uh, representing uh, their uh, states or even the countries so it it feels so good it feels i mean there is no better i mean i'm i'm like their mother you know literally that you know i feel proud that whenever every uh, trainer or every child which goes and performs and represents uh, multifit i think that's the best feeling for me so uh, yeah i mean i'm always there for them taking care of them so it feels good absolutely it feels so good to hear that you know you are uh, contributing to that part of the society in this way wherein you are giving them chances to keep following their passion and being a part of the community and basically just keep on the path of growth so it's really good to hear that multifit is encouraging such activity uh lastly deepthi is there anything else that you would like for our listeners to hear or anything that possibly you want to end this conversation with any last encouraging words or you know maybe a quote or anything uh, thanks shruti it was uh, great talking to you i would uh, you know uh, tell everyone who is listening to us um, as i said you know uh, start moving start uh, you know uh, don't don't be stag- stagnant uh till uh, your legs till your body supports you uh you know get up also your body will support you uh if you push it if you work hard towards maintaining it love love your body you know uh, uh, i think uh, you should praise uh, your body you should say i'm so happy i'm so lucky to you know uh, be able to do uh, what so many of them you know can't do so uh, you know exercise work out take care of your body they say this is the only place that you know you have to live in for a long time so uh, yeah you have to you have to take care of yourselves um there are many young mothers you know they they come and they are most so many of them are weak and i always tell them that uh, you know if you want to take care of your family if you want to take care of your husband your parents your parents in laws your children you have to take care of yourself first you know you you have to give yourself that time where you are taking care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself there is nobody who is going to be there for you as a mother um, uh, you know you have to have to take care of yourself so is the, so is the case with so many uh, young fathers young men who come and you know they are like oh no we are working late there is no time um, it's not possible if you can watch uh you know binge watch a netflix series you can definitely come to the gym you know if not for one hour two hours half an hour 45 minutes is good amount of workout um you know there is nothing there is nothing which is impossible you can achieve everything as i said only if you and only if you want it um nobody else can live a dream for you you have to do that you have to set up your goals you have to set your alarms get up in the morning get moving and as i said you know um buy a dress less or buy something less invest in good shoes invest in your shoes get up wear them and uh, you see how your body responds to you and it will respond to you so beautifully you love it and uh, you will thank yourself for taking care of yourself only uh, because uh, it's only you who can take care of yourself so yeah thank you shruti i mean i think uh, you know it is uh, you know i i always uh, believe in that one line it's a poem by robert frost that uh, miles to go before i sleep it was so wonderful talking to you deepthi and thanks for uh, pouring in such encouraging words for our audience and our listeners and i'm so glad that we had this conversation and i'm keeping my fingers crossed that you know this episode is definitely going to encourage some people some people to uh, stick to their new year resolution which uh, i know that you know a lot of people go ahead with but let's just hope that they stick to it as well and as you said that you know take care of your body because this is what is sort of you know this is what really keeps you going for years and years so 
I think we all can give it back. At least that. Sure. You know, a healthy, healthy um, body, a healthy mind is a healthy body, and healthy right. body is also a healthy mind. So, yeah, let's let's follow that and let's uh, take care of ourselves. Absolutely. Thank you, Deepthi, once again for being a part of this show, for being a part of this podcast, and hopefully we might just you know bring you back for another session and maybe you know another session of encouraging words. Thank you so much. Thank you. So guys, as we just had a wonderful conversation with Deepthi and it was so good to hear such encouraging words and I wish you all a very happy new year and a very happy 2023. Um, give yourself good goals, give yourself um, happiness and joy because you know, that's all that really matters. See you very soon and we'll be back with another episode. Shruti Outloud welcomes all stories. It can be a brand, it can be an organization, or it can be a person. The only thing common would be passion for life. Please subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, Ghana Podcast, and every other platform where you can hear this. Please leave a review as that helps my podcast to grow. Thank you once again. See you for the next episode. Bye.